Welcome to another video brought to you by Connected, AICHE's online community. My name is Stephanie Algonquilek and I work for AICHE's Technical Programming Department and I'll be your host today. With me is Frank Bates, who is a Regents Professor and Department Head at the University of Minnesota. He is also Principal Investigator for the Bates Research, research Group, uh, whose research involves thermodynamics and dynamics of polymers and polymer mixtures. The focus of Dr. Bates' talk is multi-block polymer science and the opportunities for creating new materials and products presented by this emerging class of polymers. So every time I think of polymers, I think of that famous scene from The Graduate where Walter Brooks takes young Dust Dustin Hoffman um, aside and says, I have one word for you, plastics. Um, there's a great future in plastics, and those words ring true back then and probably more so today. So can you talk a little about the impact of polymer science and what its um, impact has had on our society? Yeah, well, you might imagine I've heard that before. <laughs> I was 13 at the time, and my mom wouldn't let me go see that movie, so <laughs> times have changed. But uh, I think today the importance of, of plastics, but polymers more appropriately, uh, is, is greater than ever. Uh, we have about $300 billion a year of annual sales of synthetic polymers worldwide. Much of it focused on just a few types of materials, polyethylene, polypropylene, polystyrene. The opportunities to combine these different materials into products that, that capture multiple functionality. So they're both elastomeric and tough. They conduct uh, electricity and at the same time they're environmentally stable. Uh, or that they're sustainable. Uh, a big emphasis these days to be able to convert uh, materials that we derive uh, from the environment and then turn them back to the environment. I think these are the, the big challenges and the great opportunities that come with the advances in synthetic chemistry and our understanding of the engineering of, of polymers today. And um, the title of your lecture is quite intriguing. Um, what are the challenges with multi-block polymers and what are the opportunities? Um, this was a topic I've been passionate about for a long time and what I find most exciting about the polymer business and especially this area of, of block polymers is the opportunity to exploit new chemistry. Chemistry is the underlying engine and applying that to the ability to make new molecular architectures. As I said before, combining the best properties, the best functionality of different polymers into economically viable, uh, commercially successful multi-block. Uh, one of the big limitations is we don't know what to make. Uh, there are so many possibilities for combining polymers. It's a little bit like designing proteins. In proteins, we know there is an enormous number of combinations of amino acids. Multi-block polymers is a little bit the same way. We have the chance to mix and match. The chemists are providing us with remarkable capability. Theoretically, we don't know how to anticipate what these materials are going to do. So I think there's both a tremendous challenge, but a great opportunity to uh, add to our engineering discipline. And um, to wrap up, if there's one message you want to share with the audience about polymer science, what would it be? Uh, for me, it's been a, a way of life. Uh, it's been extremely exciting to be able to capture advances that cover not just engineering, but the underlying science, the chemistry, the physics, the material science. Uh, as a chemical engineer, you're ideally positioned to take advantage of all of these advances. So for me, it's a bright future, and uh, I'm obviously bullish. Okay. And so, well, thank you for joining me today and for your perspective. And this has been another video for Connected AICHE's online community.